o que um dos grandes cientistas ingleses tem descoberto sobre psicologia, paranormalidade e mágica. Vem ver. Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, galera. Dá uma pausa no LOLzinho, no Minecraft, no RedTube e vem dar uma conferida numa parada sinistra aqui agora. Um dos objetivos do canal é mostrar que tem muita pesquisa séria sobre paranormalidade, sobre religião e essas coisas. Então hoje a gente está aqui na Universidade de Londres, Goldsmiths, para vocês conhecerem um dos pesquisadores mais da hora dessa área. Um, tipo um super sadinho, tá ligado? Um colega da área, parceirão, queridão, Dr. Gustav Kuhn. Vamos lá. Eu estudo e pratico mágica no sentido de ilusionismo há alguns anos. Adoro fazer mágica de rua e essas coisas. Além do maravilhamento que essa magnífica arte produz, ela é extremamente útil para se pesquisar percepção, memória, sugestão e outros temas da psicologia, além de ser fundamental para desmascarar falsos paranormais, como em alguns casos que eu já pesquisei. Por isso eu estou aqui hoje para conversar com o colega Dr. Gustav Kuhn, psicólogo, mágico e pesquisador aqui na Universidade de Londres cujo principal tema de trabalho é a relação entre mágica e psicologia. Vamos colar na sala dele. Eu estou sentindo uma treta! Oi, pessoal. Estou aqui com ninguém menos que Gustav Kuhn. Caralho, olha os deuses, mano! Eita! Grande pesquisador da área de psicologia, arte mágica, ciência e arte mágica. Eu vou perguntar algumas coisas pra ele, ele é muito gente boa por ter aceitado. Inclusive, tô usando o computador dele, porque meu celular morreu. É isso aí. I understood nothing. <risos> It's a difficult question to answer, really. I have so many different projects. Um, we've got a research project in collaboration with Christine Moore in Switzerland, where we're using magic as a way to study belief formation of particular paranormal beliefs. Um, so these are experiments in which we create fake seances um, and see whether that can change people's beliefs, um, mm -hmm. but also in particular kind of like how they actually interpret these anomalous experiences. Nice. So magic there offers us a really nice tool to study these kind of like these paranormal beliefs. Um, a lot of my research also involves uh, misdirection and perception. So in collaboration with Jennifer Ortega, um, we are studying misdirection and the way that misdirection exploits metacognitive errors. Um, for me, one of the key principles really in misdirection is that it not only exploits failures in our cognition, but very counterintuitive failures. So we're using magic in collaboration with Abra Academy um, to see whether we can use magic to teach people certain soft skills, such as enhancing self-esteem, self-awareness and social communication skills as well. Um, a whole bunch of research mm. really, and then still a lot of work on perceptual misdirection yeah. as well and problem solving. For the Magic Lab, um, I think it's about having more people involved for me it's, it's very important to distribute knowledge and experience about the science of magic and helping others as well to use magic as a way of studying the mind i feel magic deals with some fascinating philosophical and psychological questions and such has got the potential to to really study the human mind from lots of different perspectives and um so yeah i'd, I'd hope that the Magic Lab really helps bring together sort of like different people who are working in this area um, to promote the science of magic and give people the opportunity to really to study this. I, I think actually we've be probably, Britain has become more rational compared yeah. to, if I compare it to Switzerland where there's a bigger drive really to alternative medicines and sort of like more, I think higher esoteric beliefs as well than there are um, in, in Britain. And if we think about religion in the context of magical beliefs as well, then um, again, I think Britain is actually fairly secular compared to a lot yeah. of other countries. Nice. I mean, we were talking about Brazil um, just over lunch and yeah, I, I would have thought sort of like a lot of these paranormal beliefs are very high in mm -hmm. countries like Brazil as well. Yes. I mean, what we've been finding in quite a lot of our research is that people's interpretation of an anomalous event is very strongly related to their prior beliefs. Um, 
So when we show people these seances, well it's not a seance really, it's more a psychic experience. So we have a magician who can read someone's aura and can sort of like contact people from their past lives mm. as well. These are very powerful illusions because we throw a lot of magic at them and a lot of psychology to make them very convincing. And what we find there is that really people's interpretation of the events are highly correlated with their prior beliefs. So people who believe in spirituality, they attribute to what they see due to spiritual powers. If we have a look more mainstream religions, religious people attribute them are more likely to attribute it to some religious phenomena. And so I think these beliefs are really cultural as well. It depends on the cultural experiences that you've had. But, I mean, I think it's important to know I mean, what we find, I mean, what I find very surprising with a lot of the research that we're doing is that we're carrying out this research on our undergraduate students who are studying psychology who I would hope are a scientific way of thinking about the world and yet we find even within that population um, there's very strong paranormal beliefs as well. Mm. So I think these beliefs are much more widespread than we intuitively think they are. Oh, that's a hard one, really. Um, I think it always depends on what I'm looking at. I mean, I'm finding the research and beliefs really very, very interesting. Um, I find some of the perceptual illusions that we've been looking at, I find them very surprising and mm -hmm. interesting. When I started with the vanishing ball illusion, that's research I've carried out more than 10 years ago now. A lot of my thoughts and beliefs really about why the illusion worked were completely wrong. and that, the more I've uncovered sort of like the mechanisms behind this illusion, or well, the more amazing it really is. Um, so it's difficult to really say. I mean, at the moment, I'm finding, if we're looking at the way that magic can be used to enhance well-being, our preliminary results are really rather remarkable in that teaching, just simple workshop of teaching people magic tricks and, and other skills. A three-hour workshop can have some really profound implications people's well-being mm -hmm. as well and I think for me that's a very exciting area well there's always been a very close link between magic and the paranormal me being I'm skeptical I don't really believe in the paranormal um, and yet of course as people experience these anomalous experiences or have these anomalous experiences they attribute them they, they quite like to actually attribute them to the paranormal and I think magicians have played a very important role in forming these beliefs as well if you look throughout history mm -hmm. um, yeah although magicians often consider themselves as being very skeptical they've actually also created quite a lot of harm in terms of giving people false hope and giving you providing the illusion that spirituality is actually possible mm -hmm. and even today I mean I think it's very interesting in today's world and light and science magicians still peddle a lot of mistruths as well so if you think about a lot of the performances in mentalism mm -hmm. um, yes. one of the in the maybe 50 years ago it was very popular to frame your mentalism routine in terms of the mind reading or contacting some spirits today magicians tend to use psycho babble to just do sort of like to explain their yeah. effect. The main, pro I mean, I think some of the main problems, when I started this research about 15 years ago, I really struggled for scientists to take it seriously. Um, mm -hmm. I was very passionate, I was convinced that magic could offer new insights and a lot of, a lot of scientists thought, well, magic is fairly interesting, there's novel um, but they never really took it particularly seriously so they didn't take it very seriously and so I think that meant that people found it difficult to really relate to the research didn't really know how to fit the research into our current understanding of psychology and when I started I was inspired to do to study psychology because I was a magician I wanted to find a way to link magic and psychology yet 
when I studied psychology, there was nothing really mm -hmm. on the psychology of magic. Um, I think this is different now. So there's a lot of young magicians or people with an interest in magic who can now study psychology. And because these paradigms have now been established, and I think the science of magic more generally has been established much more firmly, it means that young students can actually go to their supervisor and say, I would like to study mm -hmm. magic. And they'll no longer say, oh, this is just a completely crazy idea. I think the main lesson is to look at problems from a different perspective. One of the things I really love about magicians is just their creativity. They're such amazing problem solvers. And I think as scientists, we require similar skills. Science involves a lot of creativity. It involves a lot of diligence and looking at, but also looking at, at problems from a different angle. And I think what's great about the science of magic is that or well, potentially we can un uncover new phenomena, but even if it's not necessarily new phenomena, it really provides us with the opportunity to look at old questions, but just from a slightly different angle. And I think that will essentially enrich science. Então, povo, a intenção era mostrar a importância de conhecer mágica e psicologia para investigar o paranormal. Sempre vou postar vídeos sobre essas coisas também, então para você ficar ligado, para você não perder nada, siga aqui o canal. Dê um like no vídeo porque ajuda bastante a impulsionar o canal. Siga nossas redes sociais. Fui!